Hey everyone, um, I'm so glad you're here uh, and joining us in this YouTube hop. This is the second year we've done the Our Favorites YouTube hop and this year we're doing an art journaling edition. I became obsessed recently with, well, I've always been obsessed with circles. <laughs> if you follow me, you definitely know that. But I just got this handy little gadget that cuts circles. And once I got through my total um, ineptness, I started cutting out circles like you wouldn't believe. And I had a whole bunch of them, so I thought, I'm going to go ahead and use these circles to make my art journal project for the Our Favorites uh, YouTube hop. So I hope you'll stick with me. I'm going to go through it and show you what I did. Thanks. So here is the packaging from my um, We Are Crafts Essentials uh, circle cutter. It took me a little while to figure out that you had to poke the holes. There's these little two piercing things that hold it in place because otherwise you're turning the little circle cutter and as you're turning it, your paper's turning. Okay, so yeah, I'm not totally intelligent when it comes to gadgets, but once I figure it out, I'm good. So here are the paints that I used. Uh, for this project, I went ahead and used the DecoArt Fluid Acrylics because I treat them like watercolors and I absolutely love them. They're high pigment um, and they work amazing. You just need a drop uh, with a little bit of water and I'm telling you, they, they, you don't need much more. These little bottles will last you forever. So I also used the brand new DecoArt um, Traditions uh, acrylic paints, uh, artist traditions paints, and these paints now come in a tube. This is brand new. They're just being released by DecoArt, and they sent me a few to play with, and I use them with this extender medium that they have. Um, it's a must-have. This extender medium gives them like one dab of your brush will work through the whole piece. It, it, it just makes them beautiful. I used it on a few of my projects lately. But anyhow, I'm going to be quiet here for a little while and just let you watch me create. Right now, I'm just throwing paint on these pieces. I'm going to do some stenciling with my gorgeous favorite TCW stencils. And you'll know they're my favorites because they're the dirtiest ones in the bunch. <laughs> and I hope you will enjoy it. I'm going to put some music on, let you relax, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so now the circles have all been covered and I'm gonna take my large TCW, the 12 inch TCW stencils, and I'm gonna use that DecoArt uh, Artist Traditions acrylic paints with that extender medium I was talking about. This extender medium makes this paint go on like glass 
it's beautiful and it's got a sheer look it's light fast and it just gives it that soft ethereal look I love it I especially love this white it just came out beautifully and later on you'll get to see the blue that I used for some trim work but anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and cover all of these with some white and when I'm done I'll come back and I'll talk some more I'm sure you can't wait <laughs> see you in a bit All right, so here I have selected my cover um, circle, the piece that I'm going to use. And this is that thick piece of cardstock or cardboard stock, I don't know what you call it, that I cut out with my new circle cutter. Remember, I had to cut this on the front and the back in order to get all the way through with the little blade. Um, I'm covering this with a good thick coat of the TCW White Gesso. And once that coat is dry, I'm going to go ahead and put some light teal paint on there. I love teal. That's like my favorite color. I think I have teal or turquoise in probably every single brand of paint and every single shade of color that it comes in. But anyhow, here I'm using one of the large stencils, um, the At TCW stencils. And this one is by Rebecca Meyer. Now, I've chosen these two colors to be a backdrop for that little Mandela you see hiding under the paper plate. That's one of my own designs. Um, like I said, I usually take my drawings and I scan them into my computer so I can resize them or play with them. And I'm actually going to try to learn how to cut them out to, into some sort of a stencil one of these days when I get settled and a little bit more time. But here you can see I'm using some matte gel medium by TCW and I'm using that with my spatula to go ahead and apply the stencil or the the Mandela. Now I'm not sure I'm digging the color scheme because it's too matchy matchy so I might go ahead and add some changes to that Mandela. Here I'm going to take my black archival ink and a little paddle and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the rim of all the circles. Um, all these circles that I painted and I made, I went ahead and I took two and I adhered them together. Now, I put these together with the PVA archive, um, book binding glue. That's the one, if you look at my other journal uh, videos that I have on my YouTube channel, that I use all the time. I use this because it dries clear, it lasts, it doesn't fall apart, and once it dries, it's strong. 
and it also is does not have any acid so you could use it for photos or you can use it for your books but I'm gonna tell you it's my favorite glue Here's the trim piece for my cover. Uh, this circle I went ahead and covered with a really nice bright blue. Again, that's that new Deco Art Artist Acrylic Paint, or Traditions Artist Traditions Acrylic Paint. That is such a tongue twister. They need to come up with a shorter name just for me. But I really love this blue. It came out beautifully. And I actually put a coat of their glazing medium on top of it because it gave it kind of a sheen and it really looks pretty now i'm taking one of my caramel stamps i think this is called uh, bits of lace or antique lace i will definitely put the number and name of stamp uh, below in the description along with all the other products that i use so that you can easily find them or at least search for them so i'm using the black archival ink on this because um, i think that the black against the blue is just such a great color combination now this piece is going to go on top of here but i decided that that background was just a little too boring for my taste so i'm going to go ahead and punch it up with some uh, bright colors i'm using some nice bright yellow i'm going to use some orange and some uh, neon pink of course my favorite color i think when i first started painting i brought i bought neon paint pink and teal more than any other color I mean, seriously, I was addicted. If it didn't have neon pink or neon orange in it, it wasn't by me. But this is one of Rebecca Meyer's stencils. Again, this is a TCW stencil. And I think this is one of her first Mandela stencils that she did. I just love these stencils. Um, again, Mandela's, I'm addicted. What can I tell you? So here I'm gonna take some white and I'm gonna go ahead and water it down and sprinkle it on there for drops. Now here's the fun part. I was punching holes into these pieces. As you can see, I took each circle and they're glued together. Now, in order to line it up, I hold the one that I punched a hole in against the one that I didn't. I mean, everybody knows this except, you know, me. I'm pretty new at all this stuff and, and paper crafting. Now, art I love to do, but the paper crafting side, I'm learning just like everybody else. Now there is that PVA um, book binders glue. I buy the hugest bottle I can from Amazon because I use this stuff like anything else. Now you can use any glue that you like and some people even prefer to use a hot glue gun. But for me, I'll stick with my PVA. All right, so now it's time to decorate my cover. I am going to go ahead and use a piece of this hot pink bric-a-brac that I have. Um, I have a whole bunch of these little trims um, in my sewing basket, and I also have them in my art studio. Now I'm using the same glue, and I'm just going to carefully put it down around the circle. I went ahead and trimmed it to the correct size before I started filming so that it would easily go on and you didn't have to see me try to measure it out. Um, this piece is really easily fitting along there and it just kind of ties the blue into the center of the cover. So I'm just taking some of my little cutouts that I have. I always do these in bulk and keep them in Ziploc bags so I have plenty to pull from and use in my projects. Um, because I'm gonna put words on this, I don't think I'm gonna use that butterfly in the center. I'm just gonna do a few butterflies for trim um, and decoration. 
and then I can write some words on my cover. So I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this and you follow along with the uh, whole YouTube hop because there is a lot of really good prizes and um, gifts from all the sponsors that we got this year. And I'm hoping that next year we can come up with another theme and do another YouTube hop because this year is even bigger than last year. And I'm amazed at how many people uh, really followed along and stuck with us through the whole thing. Uh, anyhow, let's get to binding. So, to bind this thing, I had to get creative because a circle, you don't have a straight edge. So I did punch the holes like we did earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and use some ribbon that I have um, and some of this trim. It's a wire trim with pom-poms on it. I think I got it at, hmm, I'm going to go with Hobby Lobby. And it could have been there or even Walmart for all I know. But this trim is great because it's going to give it um, a good stable binding but easily turn pages and I will get the complete circle to use in, as an art journal page. So this is all going to be finished here in a minute and once it's done um, I'll give you some photos of the finished product. Again thank you so much for watching and it really means a lot if you guys make it to the end of my videos. Because I know it's hard and it takes time, but you figure this little 20 minute video is probably a compilation of seven or eight, nine, I don't even know how many hours of videotaping. And then I have to go through and trim it and speed it up because I don't want to lose your interest. So remember, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. And again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.